Hi, I'm Newt. And I'm Johnny Havoc. Together, we're Simple Tricks and Nonsense. Wow, it's been a long time since our last video. Yep, a busy three months of making costumes and getting ready for Dragon Con. In this video, we're going to continue our admiration for the TV show Farscape. Would you say Vader is the best sci-fi villain of all time? I thought we were talking about Farscape, but yeah, Vader's probably the best. Well, if Vader's the best, then that means Scorpius from Farscape wouldn't be far behind. Yeah, I keep saying this all the time. If you take Vader and then you mix in Professor Moriarty from Sherlock Holmes, then you'll end up with Scorpius. Not only that, but they both made such great entrances into their own universes. I gotta say, that's a lot of vinyl. That's how you know the costume is hot. And I don't mean in just a looks kind of way, I mean in a sweating and comfortable kind of way, kind of like us right now. The bodysuit is custom sewn vinyl with ribbing in the front. This is our fourth version of the bodysuit. The armor is made from vinyl alligator hide or faux alligator hide that's been glued onto a heat bent EVA foam. Yeah, you'll see a lot of that alligator hide throughout the costume. From the armor, to the vest, to the belt, to the gauntlets. Six years ago when I made this costume the first time, I had to order all this material. Now you can find it anywhere. Even in disco metallic colors. So if you wanted to make Ray or Scorpy... No. So the high relief alligator or crocodile parts that you see on Scorpius, these were actually sculpted by hand in wet clay, then molded and then cast in latex. And again, like with many of our builds, if you have the action figure, it helps so much in figuring out where parts are supposed to go. The most time consuming part of this costume was the head because you had the cow, the face, and then the ear pieces. And how many versions of that did you do? Well, like everything else, there's been multiple versions. So the face was done three times and then the cow was done twice. The first cow was made from stretch pleather, but all the others were cast from latex or urethane rubber. Each of these had their own issues. The latex would shrink and get tight, and over time it would slowly die. The urethane rubber didn't shrink, but casting it was time consuming. Making Scorpius' face was fun even though not much of it is seen. The wrinkles around the mouth, the drawn in cheeks, the exaggerated wrinkles around the eyes would give Scorpius his look. His coloring and skin texture changed from season to season in the show. So for me, with each version I had, the excuse I could say was he was a different version from a different season. The earpieces were first fabricated, then molded and cast. They are thin fiberglass with four LEDs in each, and small batteries and switches to power them. I keep a flap from the cowl to cover the electronics and insulate them from the moisture of my sweating head. So, no suiting up time lapse this time? No, I'm not going to sweat to death for 20 seconds worth of video footage. Well, how many times have we worn this costume? I've worn this costume six times. Four Dragon Cons, two other conventions, and I won second place for two costume contests, one of which being the Jim Henson 60th Anniversary Costume Contest.
Well, thanks for watching, and be sure to keep an eye out for another Farscape video. And if you haven't seen our Rigel prop, we have a video for him too. Would you say Vader is the greatest sci-fi villain? <laughs> that reaction was too realistic. Okay. <laughs> Go again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would you say Vader is the greatest sci-fi <laughs> All I have to do is look at you. Go. <laughs> uh, all right. It's heat delirium. <laughs> yeah. We need cooling suits. Uh, Ready? All right. <clears throat> Would you say Vader is the greatest villain of sci-fi history? <laughs> oh my god, why am I getting retarded? Would right, you say I'm Vader is the best sci-fi?